you know, we spend January through August, September each year writing a bunch of rules, a bunch of laws, and we send it out to the general population and we expect them to follow those rules or there are consequences that happen if they don't. Now as the ruling party, the majority party here, you have the ability to control the outcome of every committee. You have the ability to control the outcome on the floor. And so it begs the question, if we send out rules to the general population to follow, why do we not follow the own rules that the majority party, the ruling party, has set up? Specifically, Joint Rule 29.5C states, a committee on conference of the budget bill may consider only differences between the assembly version of the budget bill as passed by the assembly and the Senate version of the budget bill as passed by the Senate. What this means, the Senate should develop and pass a complete budget bill to the assembly and the assembly should do the same. And then a budget conference committee should resolve those differences. Right now, if you were to compare budget bills, you'd be comparing blank space because that's in effect what we're doing. We're not following the rules as set up. Even though we may have done it in previous years, that doesn't make it right. Just change the rules then. Instead of every year going through this charade, this sham thing of sending spot bills over so you can occupy and fulfill the letter of the law of having sent something over, even though it doesn't hit the intent of the law or the rule that you have set up, that we actually come up with a meaningful budget. I ask a no vote on these sham blank pieces of legislation.